Everybody, this is Martin MI55 back for another video. Today's video is about Tesla stock, and the video is called the article is called Tesla shares close at highest in 13 months as post earnings rally continues. So let's get into this. Let's take away from some of the key points. So, following Tesla's best day on market since 2013. The stock rose more than 3% on Friday, closing at its highest since September of last year. The two-day pop comes after the company reported better than, uh, better than expected earnings, and CEO Elon Musk offered an optimistic projection for 2025. Tesla shares are still 34% below their 2021 record, so they haven't broken into new territory yet. A day after its sharp, the sharpest rally since 2013, Tesla stock on Friday closed at its highest in more than a year, as investors and analysts continue to applaud the electric vehicle company's third quarter results. Tesla shares rose 3.4 percent on Friday to $269.23, its highest finish since September 23rd, or not 23rd, 2023. My bad. With those two days of gains, the stock erased its loss for the year and is now up 8.4% in 2024, still trailing the NASDAQ's 23% increase. Analysts at the Piper Sandler were the latest to bolster their price for the target following Wednesday's earning report. The firm, which already had a buy rating on the stock, said it was increasing in its 12-month stock prediction to 315 from $310 to reflect higher deliveries and higher margins. That's not a bad projection. Tesla's shares on Thursday soared 22% and their, sec their second best performance since the company's IPO in 2010. That came after Tesla reported revenue of $25.18 billion, which just missed analyst expectations of $25.37 billion but was up 8% compared to the year earlier. Tesla reported earnings per share of $0.72 cents adjusted, topping the average analyst estimate of $0.58. Cents. Tesla's profit margins were boosted by $739 million in revenue for environmental regulatory credits, which J.P. Morgan Chase analysts noted in a report were a potentially unsustainable driver. Of earnings and cash flow. Results were also boosted by $326 million in revenue from FSD, the company's full self driving supervised system. CEO Elon Musk said on an earnings call that this, his best guess, is that vehicle growth will reach 20% to 30% next year, citing lower cost for vehicles and an advent of autonomy. Analysts surveyed by FactSet were expecting delivery growth of about 15% for 2025. When it comes to autonomy, however, Musk has consistently missed his own deadlines for getting products to the market. Bernstein analysts wrote in a note after earnings that a Musk that Musk has a long history of being overly optimistic about FSD. Adding, the research shows Tesla continues to lag well behind competitors on robo-taxis. Yeah, I heard his robo-taxi thing was not really that big of a hit. Musk also said that on the call that Tesla plans to start production of his recently unveiled CyberCab, a robo-taxi with butterfly doors, and no steering wheel or pedals by the end of 2026. That's pretty interesting. He said Tesla will conduct driverless ride hailing in California and Texas next year in its existing cars, which are not currently safe to use without a human driver ready to steer or brake at any time. With the two-day rally, Musk has increased his paper wealth by roughly $30 billion. Wow, that's a lot bringing a total net worth to about $274 billion, according to Forbes. That puts him more than $60 billion ahead of the world's second richest person, 
Oracle founder Larry Ellison, who was a former Tesla board member and a good friend of Musk. Still, Tesla stock remains 34% below its all-time high reach in 2021. The company had a brutal first quarter of 2024, with year-over-year -year deliveries falling and consumers flocking to EVs from a host of competitors. One of them probably being Neo, the other probably being Xpeng, the other probably being Liato. The competitive risk remain. In China, companies such as BYD, Geely, along with a new generation of automakers, but like I just said, such as Li Auto and Neo, have been ramping up sales. In the U.S., legacy automakers Ford and General Motors are starting to sell more electric vehicles despite walking back prior electrification commitments. Electrification. So, it looks like that's the end of the article. I think it's pretty good news. If you guys look back to August, Tesla was sitting at about two hundred and seventeen dollars, and I think now it's like two seventy or something like that. I, f I can't remember exactly, but I did actually buy two shares. Now I bought kind of high because I think it's still going to continue to climb, but I'm not going to hold them like forever. I want to see. I'm expecting a a pullback. A little bit of a bull run rally and is, I think it's going to have another pullback and before it has that pullback I'm going to sell them and wait to see how far of a pullback that we're going to have on Tesla. If any of you guys own Tesla stock let me know in the comment section below when did you buy it, how long have you had it, how many shares, what's your average cost. If you guys obviously if you own NEO or any of the uh, Chinese EVs, let me know about that as well, because I know you guys are big Neo fans, and I gotta say I am too. They, if not for Neo, I mean, it really helped me get wealthy. So I don't know if we're gonna see it the same kind of a bull run Neo had before this time around, but we're just gonna have to cross our fingers and see what happens. So that's it for this particular video. Make sure you guys like, comment subscribe click that notification bell so you'll be notified of my daily uploads not only do I do stock news such as Tesla and Neo I also show you guys how to make money trading trading starting a small side business and many other things as well that I want to teach you guys so pretty much everything entrepreneurial so that's what you can expect from my channel Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.